However, when taken orally the decongestant acts as a neurotoxin and can attack the nervous system The nursing employee of the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs in Charlotte confessed to investigators after the coroner revealed it had been in his system for three days Clayton admits to spiking his food with it between July 19 and 21 and lethally poisoning him The 64-year-old was found dead July 21 in the couple's home on Island Forks Road in Clover He was in a position to suggest he'd fallen down the stairs. Seemingly without suspicion from others, his wife had held a funeral for him in their backyard earlier in August. However, it was before the autopsy happened, according to Usopt.com. Share this article, share according to neighbors, the couple had been married for eight years. According to posts on her Facebook page from 2010 she had trouble in a marriage, but it's not clear whether this was an ex She claims the man was unfaithful to her and fathered her children. Sorry guys. My sister just upset for me My husband is not a drunk he had an affair However, he is the father of my children, and my kids look at my Facebook Suu. I do appreciate the support though, she wrote February 2010 Stephen obituary reads that he's survived by two stepchildren and grandchildren One person who lived in the area was shocked at the news about her Bible study friends Telling Channel 9 News the deceased was known for his big personality Arrest warrants in the statement from deputies didn't give a motive. Lana was the appointed representative for his estate according to York County Probate Court The home they lived in was worth $822,000 and modeled after the George Washington Mount Vernon estate, his friend Ken Sanford told The Herald Adding that Lana seemed like a sweet lady. I am just stunned, Sanford said. Stephen was very proud of her accomplishments The lot next door, which the Florida native also owned was worth $385,000 His success came from founding Physical Therapy Resources which has branches across the United States It makes no sense, Deborah Pollard said Adding, they are just finding all kinds of crazy ways to do things nowadays aren't they? Lana also is charged with malicious tampering with a drug product or food and is being held at your county detention center Jail records did not indicate if she had a lawyer, but as she is charged with murder, she will not have the option of being released on a bond 